Hey, welcome to another episode of Freedom on Fire. I'm your host, Bob TV, Robert Brown. And uh getting pissed at the media. I'm really getting pissed. I'm really, really getting pissed. They're not reporting hard on Debbie Wasserman Schultz, the DNC lawsuit. Debbie Wasserman Schultz and how she frauded the election, how she colluded and schemed along with her team to cram Hillary Clinton down the people's throat who did not want her, honey. They're not reporting the Awan, Enwan, Awan situation. How she's tied up all up in that. They're not reporting that. Why? Because that has took away from the Russian narrative. It's already been proven that the Russian thing is made up, fake, false. All the cover up their tracks for being so sorry, so sloppy, and for sucking too much. I try not to have a loathe for a particular organization. Republican Party, I don't even focus on them. As you notice, I don't. Why? Because I know they sold out. <coughs> I know most of the leadership in that party has been sucking the toes of the corporate industry, the military complex, and the whole nine yards. I always been grow I've been brought up a Democratic all my life. I switched to Republican, then I went to Democratic for Obama, then I went to Independent. I've pretty much been independent all my life, and I see why. And sometimes my mother, my dad, maybe, or my brothers and sisters, my cousin, whatever, they may not see what I see when it comes to these organizations. Then again, they may. And still think that the best thing for black people, Hispanic people, poor people, working class, is the Democratic Party. No. The best thing it's not to give those parties your allegiance when they're not giving you their allegiance. Now, I, can't, I discounted the Republican Party for a while. I never really, um, I went back to being independent, but I kind of gave Democrats the benefit of a doubt in certain races. But I've never been a full-fledged supporter and sold out to the party. <clears throat> you know my stance, I don't like parties. Parties are manipulative. They manipulate you and me, the people. They'll lie, scheme to get our vote, just like the Republicans, just like Trump. Lie, scheme to get our vote and do nothing for us. They'll try to play with your thinking. They'll try to play with your mind and craft narratives and have you believe in that crap. And right now, they got the nerves to defame what I believe is a true American hero, self-rich, why? Because if Seth Rich, Seth Rich was the leaker, and there's a lot of evidence that can pretty much prove that he is, if he was the leaker and he exposed the criminality, the crimes, the con job of the Democratic Party leadership, now I don't just bunch everybody in the bunk, uh, put everybody all into one bunch. That's called prejudice. You're prejudging everybody in the party. So I don't think everybody in the Democratic Party is evil. I don't think everybody in the Republican Party or the Green Party, any other party people. There's good and bad in every party and everything. So you never see me down talk just the entire scope of the Democratic Party, Republican Party. No, there are people in those parties that really genuinely want to do the right thing. And with this mess that they're doing in the media... If you sit there and believe that crap, I got a bridge in Brooklyn I want to sell you. Don't worry about it. I give, it a good, I give you a good discount. Two million dollars. Believe me, put a toll bridge up there. You make big money. Give me two million dollars today. And if you believe that, you're a fool. Going to read some articles, put my glasses on. They kind of tick me off. They're going to smear this man. This man who put his life on the line to risk his life to do the right thing, to expose the American people, to, to show the American people how corrupt their two-party system really is.
instead of talking about the real story, how Debbie Wasserman shows his link to this man who happened to be, and you can look it up on YouTube. I didn't have time to go pull all the pictures up, and I'm not going to do that. You can do the research yourself. Research um, uh, Awan and Seth Rich. There are photos floating around saying that they were together the, the night he got killed at the same bar. Now here you got an IT specialist whose number one job is to look into the service of the DNC, including the Democratic National Convention, not the, just the Democratic Party, not just the um, uh, party leaders, but was in charge, was the IT guy for Debbie Wasserman Show, who at that time ran the DNC. So he's seen that server, he's seen the ins and outs of that server. And maybe, I don't know, I'm not, it could be, this is a theory, then again, it could be fact, and it should be investigated. Maybe he saw the footprint of him taking information and giving it to Julian Sun. Now, I'm going to read this article. Because they got the nerves to say the Seth Rich killing was linked to the White House and is part of a vast right-wing conspiracy. What? To smear the good people again? to make the good people look bad nobody buys that you really think you can just make up a freaking story day Weigel, weasel whatever your name and expect the american people to believe that nobody believes your crap stuff dumb-minded people who would not investigate for themselves ignorant individuals looking for a reason to say my party is good See there, my party is good. See, I knew it wasn't us. I knew it was some Republicans trying to make us look bad. I knew it was Hillary, wasn't Hillary Clinton. Why she? I knew it wasn't her. I knew she could not lose that bad to that buffoon. It had to be Russia. You, you really think people believe this mess? And what you do is you make yourself look bad. And Washington Post, owned by Jeff Bezos, Jeff Bezos, the richest man in America right now in the world who has bought that paper and is participating in the manipulation of the American people's mind I don't I, I, I don't like him anymore I will not support his business I don't care how good his discounts are he's automating everything he's getting rid of the people in the warehouse and not even hiring people he's using robots he is not your friend Washington Post at one time was a decent paper. Now it's called a brainwashing a ton post. Democratic apologists. And you got Jack Leg, ignorant minded, knuckleheads like Dave Weigel, going to sit here and smear Seth Rich and try to say the White House has something to do with this. Let me read you the article because it pissed me off. It's quite a few articles. Rolling Stone. CNN playing this crap, uh, NPR, but let me read from the Washington Post. Snoop even said something. <coughs> Snoops, not Snoop Doggy Dog. Snoop, Snoops, or Snoops, whatever you want to call it. Alleged White House link in discredited self rich conspiracy theory. Who said it's a conspiracy theory? People got questions and want to know. And if people got a footprint or a timeline, just like you tried to do with Donald Trump, Rachel Maddow, Dave Weigel and Paul Farhi, August 1st, 848, wrote this. A private detective who investigated the slaying of the Democratic National Committee staffer alleged in the lawsuit Tuesday that Fox News Channel worked with the White House officially to push the discredited theory. First of all, who said it was discredited? You? Did you do the investigation? There was not a real investigation. Are you the police? Did you look at all the cameras around that town, which very rarely gets botched robberies or robberies at all? Video cameras all over that freaking neighborhood. Did you see any of them? No, shut up. This haven't been disproved just because you said it. And I agree, it should be. Fox News was the only one that had the guts to um, talk about the murder. You punk behinds want to cover it up don't want to touch it why because we got to keep pushing the Russian BS when a man got killed and they still haven't found this killer yet and they probably have found this killer 
and that killer probably tried to lead the country. Tuesday, Fox News Channel worked with White House officials to push a discredited theory about the case to undermine allegations of the Russian collusion. So you're saying the White House brought all this stuff up to get us away from the Russian collusion. No, you came up with the Russian collusion to try to get people away. That the fact that a man working for the DNC could have possibly leaked information to Julian Song that exposed the DNC and its Democratic leadership of the frauds that they are. The crooks, the con artists, they are. Investigator Rod Willow, who is a credible investigation investigator, might I add, further claims in the suit that President Trump was aware of the bogus story and urged Fox to publish it. So, sure, President Trump was aware of the story, but just because you call it bogus doesn't mean it was bogus. It's not a bogus story. And most of the independents are not going to sit there and let you be and sit there and believe that. Most of the Democrats not, don't believe that either. Only the HRC people who's trying to cover up the DNC from, from uh, uh, finally realizing how horrible they really are. And this makes them more horrible. Willer's defamation lawsuits, which named Fox and Fox reporters and a wealthy businessman as defendants, is the outgrowth of the slay, slaying last summer of Severich, a young data specialist in the DNC. So I guess Will is suing for defamation of character. And they named Fox News as part of the defendants and a wealthy businessman. Rich was killed in D.C. neighborhood in July 2016 in what the police said, what the police said was a botched robbery attempt. Police will tell you anything to solve a crime. Investigation is hard to do. And a lot of times, some cops, not all, most some are generally by the book. Some cops want to make a name for themselves, and some cops don't want to really find out who the killer was. If they, they can find somebody on the street that looked like the killer, they'll nab that person and say he's the killer. Some of them, not all of them. Rich was killed in D.C. neighborhood in July 2016 in what the police said was a botched robbery attempt. By the timing set off a conspiracy theory among Trump supporters and those on the far right. No, Doc, it wasn't among the Trump supporters in the far right. The real true progressives and some Democrats already kind of sense that this smelled like fish, as my man Scarmucci would say. I see two hit, hit, stinking fish heads right here. And Trump and the RNC and the Republican Party is not one of them. It's the Democratic Party trying to cover up. It's, it's Democratic apologists or what Jimmy Dore called the um, um, propaganda wing of the Democratic Party, wa uh, the Washington Post. It's not a conspiracy theory. And we're not going to let up on this until the truth come out. <coughs> yes, a lot of us do believe that that man was murdered for foul reasons. There's no videotapes. I heard there was a um, uh, um, cop cam on during that time. Where's that? It's a lot of fishy stuff going on. It's a lot of cover-up going on. And we shouldn't even be talking about this. We need to be talking about Debbie Wasserman shows and uh, Enwan Awan, who probably, probably had something to do with that death. Probably. Now, what you're on is a probably, too. So don't call me with a theorist. All this crap that you're saying, it could be theory. Saying it was a botched robbery is a theory. It's not fact. It wasn't the Trump supporters or the far right. True progressives. People in the Democratic Party, too. That was uh, left-leaning. Hard left-leaning. Believe this man was shut up. Because he exposed the DNC for the fraud that they are. Not is, not alleged, they are. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm ticked off. Rich's deaths was somehow arranged by the Democrat. This is the theory. Trump supporters and those of the far right. That Rich's death was somehow arranged by, a Dem uh, by Democratic officials as payback for the leaks of thousands of DNC emails and electronic files and WikiLeaks which published them. Alright, alright, why do you think that that's not a possibility? Why in the freaking, what make you think that that can't happen? 
what evidence, what can you prove that something like this cannot happen? And something like this have not happened? Sure, I know about the history of the Clinton kill list. And do I think Hillary Clinton personally went and shot the guy? No. But I do believe that people try to cover their tracks when they're about to expose. And this on, on one, in one was about to be exposed. And he could have been covering his track. Mighty funny. There's pictures swirling around in the internet with him being at the same location at the bar with Seth Rich. This guy who was trying to flee the country at the bank fraud. Bank fraud probably not the only thing he did. Let me keep going. The emails were an embarrassment to Hillary Clinton's campaign. But Rich's family and D.C. police have denied that Rich was the source of that uh, or that his slaying had anything to work. To, where did they say that? I got video clips. They never said that. Um, they never denied that Rich was the source. They never denied that. They don't know. They never denied that. Stop lying. Weagle. Weasel. Or that his slaying had anything to do with his work at the DNC. How do you know? They never denied that. They still haven't found the killer and they still want the killer found. They still want answers. How are they going to tell you that and they didn't get a chance to talk to him? They didn't follow that man everywhere he go. They didn't know everything he did. So stop, man. You're a bunch of crack wax. That's why nobody buys your freaking paper. And that's why people get their news from YouTube more than you. Bunch of quacks. DNC say intelligence source. Here you go with this intelligence source crap. Which means nobody. You're making it up. Had said that the emails were stolen from the DNC by Russian hackers. No, it wasn't. It was an inside job. And that has been debunked, Dave. Lying. Weasel waggle. In May, however, a story was published on Fox News asserting that Rich was the source of the email leak. And it's still highly possible that he is the source of the email leak. And that didn't come out on Fox, fool. That's been circling way on the internet for a long time. Because there's a high chance he did. <coughs> All you have to do is let the people look at the DNC server. But you're too scared. You're too much a punk. Because you're scared that we're going to find dirt throughout the DNC. You and the Republican parties are sham of a party. And I wouldn't even want to be affiliated with neither one of you. That's why a lot of people leaving your freaking parties and, get, and, and leaving your newspapers, Washington Post. And the only thing it's good for is wiping out behind or rolling up a blunt. Will allege in his suit. Let me go back. In May, however, a story was published by Fox News asserting that Rich was the source of email leak. I quoted Wheeler. He was, has worked as a Fox News contributor as a primary source of the allegation. That he's the source of the allegation. Amid complaints from the Rich's family, Fox News retracted his story of the week after publication saying it had been published prematurely. Yeah, it may have been published prematurely, but that doesn't mean it's true. It just mean they meant to put it out, but not right now. It didn't mean that they were saying it was false and fake. Bunch of quacks. Will allege in his suit that the Fox News reporter, Malia Zimmerman, made up two quotes in the story and attributed them to him. His suit claimed that FoxNews.com pushed the story in an effort to deflect public attention from the ongoing investigation into the administration ties of the Russian government. No, he didn't. Stop lying. Lying, man. In a statement, I might try to have Rod Willer on my on my broadcast because um, I might. I, I, I don't do live calls pretty well. In a statement, Monday, Fox President of News Jay Wallace called Willer's accusation that the story was published to distract from the Russian investigation completely erroneous. He said the story is still being investigated, and it is. And that Fox has no evidence that Willer was misquoted. Willer alleged in his suit that he met with then White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer on April 20th along with Ed Batowski, a conservative financier who had been bankrolling Willer's investigation of Richard Slane. Batowski is frequent guest on the Fox Business News. All of this stuff is allegation. You still ain't got no proof of that. But Batowski 
who did not answer requests to comment on Tuesday, urged Willer in emails in Texas to push the bogus rich story. How do you know? You saw the emails? You're making this stuff up, dude. You're making it up. You're lying. You're a liar. You are not a journalist. You're a propagandist. You are a liar. You're no different from Alex Jones. I respect Alex Jones more than I respect you. We have full attention to the White House on this. He told Willer in one message shortly before the meeting. What's wrong with him telling Trump that? And this is what gets me. You, you guys figure that Trump is so bad that if he say anything, it's going to be bad. I never count people. I never see somebody as 100% all the time bad. Sure. I'm not a fan of Trump. Sure. I wish he was not the president. Sure. Equally so. I, I'm glad Hillary Clinton is not president. I wish Bernie was president. I wish Jill Stein was, was president. Jamal Baraka. Heck, I wish Gary Johnson was president and them two idiots. Just cause a man who could not get the attention from this. The, the point is, and here's the real truth. The fact of the matter is, you guys was too much of a punk to run the real story. You want to run a fake story to get ratings and sell a newspaper, and that's what this is all about. And you want to make up fake stories like this, Weigel, to get people's attention. Another lie. You want to make this crap up so you can get some kind of recognition of being a real journalist. No, you're a real hack. I'm not a journalist. I'm a commentator, and I got more journalism experience than you do. You're a hack. You're lying and making this stuff with no evidence. And people will believe you with no evidence. And that's why you call people like me conspiracy theory because we're not going to believe your crap unless you provide evidence. Or some kind of timeline. Give us a real story so we can believe. Give us some evidence. You don't have it. You're a conspiracy theory. And this right here what you're doing is all conspiracy theory about him making this up up going to Trump to get the right wing to go against Hillary Clinton get the right wing to be a part of the self rich plot and possible murder no doc the Democratic Party had this man working for them this man probably ran into some stuff that he did not appreciate he was an avid Bernie Sanders supporter and if it seemed like the Democratic Party was on purpose cheating against Bernie what are you supposed to do be quiet shut up not say nothing no if he sees see some evidence he need to put it out but how am I going to put it out who am I who's going to listen to me I'll tell you what I'll send it to Julian son but I don't know how to do it so I'm going to find somebody to help me okay it could have been Kim.com that could help him and other people to help me distribute this information Oh, somebody must know that I leaked the information. Somebody, I might be in danger. Seth Richard was the DNC IT guy and organizer. And Ron Awan was the IT guy who had a lot of information on a lot of people just for the simple fact that he had access to this service. Right now the server is under investigation. But you're not reporting that, punk. You're not reporting that, weak, coward, journalist. You're not reporting that. You're not reporting the fact that the laptop is under investigation. David Wasserman Schultz want that laptop. Threaten the police chief that uh, you know, if you continue to hold this, you're going to pay. You're gonna, there's repercussion. You're going to hear from me soon. Ooh, I'm scared. Ooh. You don't report that. You don't report that the fact that Nwana Wan got caught trying to sneak out of the country and he was working for her at that time. And that he scammed, scammed, scammed. And if you can scam, you could probably kill. A crook is a crook, a thief is a thief. 
And you don't know how deep that thief or crook can go or willing to do to cover himself, to cover his tracks. So stop, man. I want to shoot your birds, Dave Weagle, but I don't do that, man. You, you just a sorry, weak, sorry, slimy, slimy excuse of a journalist. You are one of the reasons why this country is going down to hell in a hen basket, as they say in the country. Because all you do is lie and make stuff up. Debbie Washman shows lie, cheating, and steal to get Hillary Clinton in office. All this stuff is harming our democracy. Yet you think we still support the Democrat. We still support your BS narrative. We still support a crook like Debbie Wasserman Schultz. <coughs> I'm not going to read. You guys take some time to read. Bottom line is they have switched. They will not tell the real story, the real story of Debbie Wasserman Schultz and her link to N Y N Y N, and his link to other DNC insiders, and his link to the DNC servers, and Self Rich link to the DNC servers, and now that man gone. But yet that same night of the time of his death, there's pictures floating around of him being at. With a whole bunch of guys, including Anwan Awan, in that picture. Look it up. So to cover up the track, because they lost miserably the Russian narrative, they lost that just worse than Trump lost that health care bill battle. They lost the Russian thing three times four. Everybody smelled the BS. It was BS from the jump start. They have no liquor evidence. And you think. Intelligent sources supposed to, look intelligence so, uh, intelligence sources could be the old um, drunk on the um, on the corner who got a lot of wisdom, but he's a drunk. No more than you. He been through it all, been through it all so much. Now he's drinking, but he got wisdom. Wino can be intelligence source. Somebody how we can spit knowledge to you. That's an intelligence source. Your high school teacher could be a uh, intelligence source. So go ahead with this intelligence source crap. They Weigel. CNN were running stuff like that. Report on that. You know, Rolling Stone. NPR. Come on, guys. Snoop. Snoops. Come on, Doc. You, you, you spit BS right now. It's not even called a narrative. It's BS. Any fool that believe this crap need to be locked up in a, uh, a sane asylum. No, matter of fact, you should be locked up in the same asylum for writing this crap. I don't like BSers, and I'm going to call BSers out. If I, could, if, if I see that you're lying, I can say you're lying. You're lying sack of crap, man. I'm done. The bottom line, people, let's clear this out. Debbie Wasserman showed this in some deep mess. The media who kisses up to the butt of the Clinton because of telecom law that Bill Clinton pushed, they feel like they owe him his life. The ability for companies to buy up these media outlets like Amazon.com and pretty much control it at their leisure instead of keeping it in the hand of the people, making it a free press. People like Jeff Bezos buy media outlets. The bottom line is this. Debbie Watchman show is some deep crap. Capitol Police won't give it a laptop because the laptop probably got a whole bunch of mess on it. A whole bunch of smoking guns, a whole artillery of smoking machine guns, all that kind of stuff. Then we got the fact that the DNC server, you got the N1, and Self Rich is linked to those two. Self Rich is linked to those two. Not Donald Trump in the White House and all right, not Rod Willer, none of that. Self Rich is linked up to David Wasserman Schultz and N1 Awan. You can run from the story all you can. Fake media, fake news. You can run the bull crap stories and the bull crap narrative. The fact of the matter is, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, NYN1, and Seth Rich are linked. And a real investigator. Shouts out to um, um, Goodman who broke out this investigation, not H.A., uh, but shout outs to H.A. He's, he's a good guy who was talking about this stuff too. But, um, or Jason Goodman and, um, the other guy, like, name slipped me right now. But shout outs to you guys who were talking about this way before this guy tried to leave town. I guess he heard that you were on his tail. Day Waggle, man, get some galls and get some balls, Doc. 
and report real news and stop reporting what you you think should be made up bull crap, man. Stop. Stop kissing Jeff Bezos behind. I know that's your boss. I know you got to kiss your boss butt a little bit, right? Dude, you're a fraud, man. This is BS. This is BS. You wasted your energy. Real true Americans are not going to believe this. Your lies are not going to get over. Be a real man and report on real news. In the real news is Debbie Wasserman Schultz, N1 Owan, and Self Rich are linked. Dig in, Doc, and stop your punk line. I'm Bob TV, Freedom on Fire. Hey, this is your boy Bob TV with Freedom on Fire and Rob Report. I want to thank you for watching the webcast. Make sure you share these um, segments all across your social media network. Um, like and share, subscribe, and maybe I invite a couple other people to do the same thing. Uh, you make the difference. I also want to thank you for those who support this channel through Patreon, uh, whether it's 10, 50 cent to $50 million, I, I, it goes right back into what we do here. Uh, so like the lights that you're looking at right now, that's because of something that you did. So I really appreciate it. I want to thank my man Veggie Matic for the Blue Yeti mic, one of the top microphones out right now. Um, he knew I needed the mic, so he blessed me with it. So all of you guys make the difference into this channel growing, and I really want to appreciate you for that. Also, by all means, again, continue to uh, share your comments um, at the bottom of each video. Just don't get so visceral to the people who may disagree with me or may disagree with you. This calling out name stuff, um, that's not for this channel. So please try not to call people names, personal names. Now you can call some of the stuff they talk about crap. I say that, but, uh, uh, but just don't attack people personally. Uh, words really hurt when you start attacking people personally because these people really believe these things and you're not gonna take away their belief by calling them names. So please don't do that on this channel. But nevertheless, I appreciate you guys. We're shooting for 2000 now. Uh, so I need your help. So um, as my past would say, reach one, teach one. I mean, let's reach out. You got the information. Make sure you share with other people and try to get them to subscribe to the channel so we can grow and expand. Again, the money, the finances that you give in your Patreon account, uh, it goes into equipment. So uh, I want to thank you for helping, personally helping this endeavor grow. I'm Bob TV. Freedom on fire. Rob Report. Peace.